Seismic, the sales and marketing enablement platform. How does it work? And why is it interesting for you? Hi, I'm Mark van Hork from Marketing Guys, a Dutch-based marketing agency that helps marketeers and salespeople to achieve success by smart use of marketing and sales technology. Seismic is one of those smart tech tools that will help salespeople and marketeers to work smarter. In a moment's time, I will walk you through Seismic to show you the how. But first, let's zoom in the value you get from using Seismic, the so-called what's in it for me question. Seismic offers marketeers and salespeople different benefits. Let's have a look. For sales, Seismic offers the right match, sending the right content to the right prospect at the right time. Sales automation, automating all those administrative tasks which most salespeople don't like anyway. Insights, knowing what content your prospect likes and don't like. Alignment, better and smarter cooperation with your marketing colleagues. And above all, more time doing sales. For marketing, Seismic offers content automation. Customers expect personalization. With Seismic, marketers can create personalization at a scale for their sellers to use. Content control, making sure that your sellers use the latest approved content versions. And insights, knowing what content that you created is helping making deals. And alignment, better and smarter cooperation with your sales colleagues. If these are the benefits you're looking for, keep on watching. I will show you around how Seismic will help you to get these benefits. Page of Seismic. In the middle you see sections, or blades as Seismic calls them, of all the content you need the most. That can be news items, information that you would like to have uh, the most, that you use the most, frequently used content. You can see what is the top content. You can see what is new content, recently published content. And you can easily access all that you need to tell the right stories to your prospects at the right time. On the left, you've got the menu, the navigation. You've got the library. And the library here is all the content that you have to your disposal in your SharePoint, OneDrive, Google Docs, etc. Conveniently accessible from your Seismic library. The DocuCenter is where all your content is combined in handy content hubs. In this example, you can see what kind of content hubs there are. This is for account executives. And then you can see quite some different topics. Per content hub, you have all kinds of product-specific content and case studies, etc. and all kinds of go to presentations. The next one is the news center. And here's all the relevant news for you and your prospects at your fingertips. So these are all the stories that are available. And then you can subscribe to certain channels and then you can pick the information that you want. The planner, it's like a content creation planner. It's a handy content planner where marketeers know what they have to make and sales can give requests what to create or to adjust. So you can all see who's the manager, what's the latest updates, etc. Seismic works with profiles. I just showed you the account executives, etc. And here you can see uh, different profiles created for different subjects, uh, what they call team sites. This is manufacturing. In this case, we also have software, commercial, consulting, etc. This is actually where your personas come to life. The next one is workspace and workspace. This is your own sweet spot in Seismic where you can work on your own created and gathered content. So these are folders that I created myself and I fill that with all kinds of content. So here I've got some examples of content that I gathered or created and put that in my own workspace. Insights, that's where you can create your own dashboards. Another interesting part of Seismic are the engagements. And I will go a little bit more in detail later on in this video. And if you have a approval system, then that's where you can get all of this arranged. And the last one is Live Social. 
And live social is a very interesting way to do uh, social selling. And I will show you that more in detail later too. If you want to change, by the way, the order of your navigation, that's very easily done. You've got this pencil and then you can, let's say, bring new center up and then click on save and then you've rearranged your navigation. What have you got more on the home page? Well, you see on top um, a search bar and it's an intuitive global search function. You can filter the search results so you can narrow down the results. Now, let's let's just check what we want to do. So we've got here sales. I can have got a digital sales room template, sales alignment. So I'll just click on sales and then I get a complete overview of all the content where the word sales has been used. But you can see here on the left side that you can filter down. And for instance, let's say that we want to have all the sales content, but uh, for the industry technology, and we want to um, send content to the IT department. What we have here as a selection is all the information, all the content geared to technology industry and to IT. You can even narrow it down. Let's say you want to send material regarding presentations and demo in the sales stage, and then you check that box. So it's a very intuitive and a very handy way to get the content that you need for your prospect at that moment. Okay, so let's say I'm looking for this piece of content. It's highlighted, so I think I'll use this. It's called the sales pitch deck. I'll just click on it. This is a interesting piece of content of a document. And that's of course the reason why I picked it. This is what we call a live doc. So in comparison with other content like the PDFs and PowerPoints, they're very static. But the live doc document, that can be very um, interactive and you can customize it to uh, be as personal as possible for your prospect that you want to send this document to. Let's say we're going to, I'll just show you how this is set up. So here you can see all of the slides that are available and what you see is that they've got these merge tags in it so i'm going to click on use this live doc so it's getting all the stuff um i'll just click on continue in this case because this is not relevant i'm not using a google drive account at this moment what you have to fill in here are the details of the prospect that you want to send this document to. If you've got an integration with your CRMs like Salesforce, then this can be populated by Salesforce so you don't have to fill this in. And um, This demo environment hasn't got the integration, but I will create a video about the integration between Seismic and Salesforce because that's quite cool, to be honest. Okay, so this is the opportunity uh, when I if I would have my Salesforce connected, then I could pick all kinds of opportunities from my Salesforce. In this case, I have to copy it myself. So I've got the name of the account. Um, let's say that this is in manufacturing and this is in qualification. Well, I can upload our company logo and then I'll click on next. Okay, what you see is that you have um, all of the slides that are available and you see here, this one's got a lock. Um, this means that you always will have to use this piece of content, this slide of the total slide deck, you always have to use this one. The rest is optional, so you can choose which of these pieces of sl uh, slides that you want to put in the presentation. So there are already two checked. Um, I think we'll have this one too for IT, and I would like to have some case studies, but there's more. I could add extra slides or I can reorder it, and that's also cool. So let's say that I want to have 
solutions up front and I want the manufacturing clients at the end. Click on that. So now I've reordered the whole uh, sequence. I click on next. Here are some um, opportunities, but as this is not connected to the um, CRM, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now I'll click on next. Now I can see, because I selected case studies, I can select which case study do I want to include in the presentation. So let's say I'll click on Cardiff Manufacturing and Duke Manufacturing. So I've got two case studies selected. I click on next. I'll call it Sales Pitch Deck 2023 because I'm recording this in 2023. And I will save it to my workspace in the folder Custom Presentations. I'm ready. Click Generate. I want to make a PowerPoint. And now Seismic is going to create this specific piece of content. Well, it takes some time, but of course I'm not going to let you watch and wait. So I'll do this in a fast sequence. Okay, so here's the presentation. The name of the prospect, our logo. It's generating a interactive version. So we had a rearranged the, the sequence. And if you can remember, we put the highlights of the client at the end and we selected two case studies, Cardiff and Duke Manufacturing. So we've created the content. Of course, we want to share that. And that's what we're going to do with LiveSend. So if I click on the share button, I see that I have three options, digital sales room, email, and link. The digital sales room, I'm going to explain that a little bit more in detail, but what it is, it's a cool feature where you can combine all kinds of content in one spot and you share that one spot with your prospect instead of sending all of the content separately. Your uh, prospect can enter um, the digital sales room and you can add all kinds of content there. So you can send it by email and this is an email that Seismic creates and this is a, um, a great way of sending it because it has a uh, activity tracking uh, sequence in it because the live send link, it can see what kinds of parts of the document has been viewed for how long. I'm going to show you that in a moment's time. If you prefer to use your own um, Outlook or Gmail, then you can create the link and you copy that in your email. Um, beware that you have less tracking capabilities so if you want to make the best of all the insights that you can get from Seismic, I um, would recommend to use this option or, of course, the digital sales room. OK, so I click on this. I can punch in uh, the names. Um, I'm going to send it to a colleague of mine. So and I can also do um, multiple ones. So I'm going to send it to two colleagues. And then you've got the option to send it as separate emails to each individual or send one email to group. Um, I would recommend to use this one so that you can see what the result is of each individual, because otherwise all the statistics will be heaped up to one total. And it's much more interesting to see what each prospect is doing with your content. So you can sales pitch. 2023 I check this out interesting also is that you have a uh, multiple um, possibilities settings for this email you can set notifications so every time your prospect does anything with your content you can get an, al an alert or you ask seismic to send you session summaries you can allow downloads, but when people download it, then you don't have the the tracking capabilities. If you want to have the best insights of what people are doing with your content, then it's better to uncheck the allow downloads. If it's sensitive material, uh, I would recommend to password protect it. And if you don't want to have that content uh, wander around forever, 
then you can put an expiration date on it. I can send it. Um, I'm not going to do that now because I've already done um, these sends before. So we'll have a look at that. This is about sending it. I would like to know how it looks like with the engagements. And this was uh, the email. And this is the link with the tracking code in it. And here at the uh, right side, you can see the, the activity of the three colleagues. All 70 pages, three minutes. And then you can see what kind of pages. And then you can see that this slide has generated uh, quite some more attention in comparison with the rest. So this prospect uh, has an interest in this part. And that can be, of course, very interesting information if you want to get in touch with them and talk about this uh, piece of document. Let's have a look at Life Social. Well, Life Social, and I've connected this uh, with my LinkedIn. I can tell Seismic what kind of topics I'm interested in based on the lifestyle, so what I'm personally interested in, and from a professional perspective. And I can click here on Adjust Interests, and I've got several interests here. I would like to add AI. So I'll click on AI. And what you can see here is that this is all of the curated information that Seismic finds all over the internet of many thousands of different sources. And here you can see the topics, marketing, social media, marketing engagement, and hey, here, marketing engagement, AI, marketing cybersecurity, AI. And uh, when I click on here, I'll have much more topics that I can choose from. Okay, let's say that I'm interested in this kind of information that I want to share via my link LinkedIn. I can click on this one and then it will be straight away shared among the profiles that I, um, that I have. Or I can create a text and schedule it how I want to do it. So I've got a little bit more control in the edit and share whilst the other one is, I haven't got much time, I'll just take it as a one-on-one -on -one and share it that way. So it's up to you what you want to do. But it's it's a very handy way and a very low threshold for your sales uh, colleagues to make use and share information that your prospects are interested in. And of course, these are all external but you can also create all kinds of company updates. And it's, um, yeah, the social selling capabilities are at your fingertips with Seismic. And another cool feature of Live Social is the Live Social Engage. What is cool about Live Social is that you can use the relevance engine of Live Social to find out what content and topics your prospects on LinkedIn or X, formerly known as Twitter, find relevant. And that you can do with Live Social engage so how does engage work well you've got two options the first option is to use the chrome extension when you click on this link you can download the chrome extension but I already got it that's this one up on here so what you do is you go to the linkedin profile of your prospect and in this case i will go to the linkedin profile of my colleague elias and now i will click on the live social chrome extension the plugin will analyze Elias's LinkedIn page, and then I will click on Engage Contact. What happens now is that Live Social will come up with suggestions that are most likely to be relevant for Elias from a professional perspective or a personal lifestyle perspective. If I want to see the articles behind that, click on this, then uh, Live Social will present me the articles that could be relevant to Elias. From here, I can email the article or I can post them then myself if we are following each other. This way, you can have a more personal conversation with your prospect. Live Social really helps you to find the right content for your prospect which is obviously better than some cold outreach. But it's also better for the prospect as you are sharing content that most likely is valuable to them. 
Okay, the second option. Well, the second option is using the tool within Seismic. So that's clicking on the Engage button. If we click on Engage, you will see the profiles you have engaged before. The good thing now is that if I want to engage with Elias once again, I do not have to go back to his LinkedIn page. So I can go through all these articles and pick the ones that I want to share with Elias. Um, that's the same I could do with my colleague Claudia, which I engaged in a previous session. Just to be clear on this, the content that you see here is the content that Seismic suggests. It is not the content that your prospect is sharing. So this was the end of the Seismic demo. Well, I hope it was valuable for you. If so, please give a like and subscribe to our channel. If you've still got some questions, well, feel free to reach out to me. Um, in the description below, there's a link how you can get in touch with me. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Thank you.